Earlier in a House of Commons debate, the issue of the Primados scandal was raised once again. The government was asked to accept the systemic regulatory failures behind the use of the birth control drug, accept responsibility, apologise and offer compensation. Primados was a drug used in hormone-based pregnancy tests in the 60s and 70s. It detected pregnancy by inducing menstruation in women who were not pregnant with the presence or absence of bleeding used to determine a pregnancy. It was first made available for sale in the UK in 1959, but withdrawn in 1978, following research in the late 60s that showed a link between use of the drug and severe birth defects. Legal action regarding these claims ended inconclusively in the 1980s, though compensation has been agreed in the United States. Five decades on, families are still calling for acknowledgement of the government and the drug company's responsibility and financial assistance to help them care with the cost of children, who are now my age, who suffer a result, as a result of these drugs' side effects. Theresa May had this to say in a powerful speech earlier in the Commons. The final point I want to make is this, and it is a point that was made to me recently by Mari Lyon. It is that those women who took Primados, who saw their children suffer, often feel guilty. They feel somehow it was them and their fault. It was not. They have no reason to feel guilty at all. This drug was given to them by their GPs. And I hope that the Minister will stand up this afternoon and say very clearly, the women who took Primados, whose children suffered, have no, were at no fault whatsoever and should not feel guilty at all. The fault lay with the NHS. Joined now by Marie Lyon, who was personally affected by this scandal and has campaigned tirelessly for the cause. And indeed, Marie, you, along with Yasmin Qureshi, educated me on this mm -hmm. issue when I had a constituent that came to see me about it. Um, today's debate was very powerful. The case put across parties, the leader of the Lib Dems, a Labour MP, a former Conservative Prime Minister, mm -hmm. arguing the case very strongly, but the government response was pretty weak. It was as expected. I can't say that it was something that I felt was any different to the responses we've had before. It, it's just the party line. They continue to say this. Each time we try to bring this forward, each time we try to say, please look at the evidence, you know, please look at the new science. But all we get each time is that there is no causal association. They're very well aware that there is no way that anyone can actually prove a causal association without the drug being given to a pregnant woman. But we know perfectly well that pregnant women mm -hmm. in the 60s and 70s took Prima Dos uh -huh. and then had babies who had serious problems. Would you like to talk about some of the cases that you know about? Yes, absolutely. You have, well, one in particular has always stuck in my mind and she'd had a baby, first baby, and they came in and said, we're really sorry, but your baby died. She said, and I thought, no, that, that saw the baby being born. When her husband came in about three hours later, he just said, where's the baby? And she said, well, they, they took her away. She died straight away. And he said, well, where to? And he went outside the room to call a nurse and when he went, there was a trolley. And on the trolley was a cloth. And he thought, what's under that? And when he pulled the cloth, it was his daughter. And she had been left on that trolley for all those hours, still alive, and she lived for 48 hours. But they buried their mistakes. And I'm sorry to say that that is the truth. It's not the first time. Another of our members, her baby died again. And on the death certificate, it said, incompatible with life. Now, what an awful thing to have to have yes. in your possession. So, but the, it, it's the other mothers for me as well that they, they just resonate with the, the stoic kind of acceptance that we all had to do at that time. This happened, you get on with it, you don't complain about it. But when you then find out that there was a reason for it, well, that's when you start to fight. And some children have lived to, to my age and, and slightly yes. more with serious physical and mental Very disabilities. Serious that are absolutely linked to taking this drug. There's no other reason that can be found for There it. can't be any other reason because we have genetic testing. The genetic testing actually showed that there was no genetic fault. So for me, there was only one common denominator and that was taking Primados. The other problem is that now with the children, as they're getting older, they're getting more and more sick. 
because the injuries that they actually had, a lot were internal injuries. So those internal injuries now are breaking down within the body. And we have lost seven of our youngest um, members through the actual results of Primados. And I mentioned that in the US there's been a settlement. But the thing that strikes me as most significant is the cover-up that there's been, yeah. the secret documents that mm. were found, but that this pill was used to procure abortions. Yes, it was. And it was also used to test for pregnancy. Yes. Now, no one can have thought using an abortion pill, 13 times stronger than a modern abortion uh, pill, yeah. could be a safe thing. No. But they always said that it, it had been tested. Well, I know that the tests were actually one and a half years for one of them and a year for the other. And that was on animals, animal testing, which is fine. That's, that's what happens. But the other tests that they did, the manufacturers did, they were hidden. So the documents I found in, in the archives in Berlin, there were 7,000 pages. And those 7,000 pages highlighted quite clearly that they were aware of the, of the faults. But what they said was, we cannot afford to let this information out because it would affect the oral contraceptive pill. Because, of course, it was 40 times the strength of the oral contraceptive. Well, <laughs> it is a most disgraceful story. It's a shocking story. And so sad for those families. That Dreadful. Now, 50 years on, they're still not getting the compensation and the support from the government that yes. they need.